Hello crafty friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video I'm going to create this one layer card for you using stamping, masking and smushing and heat embossing actually. To get started I took a 5x7 piece of smooth white cardstock and drew a line a third of the way in from the left hand side and I drew the line because I wanted to add three butterflies that were lined up perfectly. So I put the card in my stamp positioner and put my butterflies along the line that I drew and I took that bit out of the video for you because I had to lean right over to see what I was doing and all you would have seen was the top of my head which you don't need to see. For stamping my images I chose black ink because I wanted them to be really bold and I stamped them twice so that I got a really crisp dark impression. After that I erased my pencil line with an eraser just so I didn't forget because so often happens I'll do something in pencil I'll then start smushing or what have you and then remember that I wanted to erase the pencil line so I managed to do that at the right point today. Next I stamped my butterflies again but this time with embossing ink because I wanted to clear emboss over the black stamped image. Next I rather awkwardly dipped my card panel in clear embossing powder and then melted it with my heat tool and that gave me three beautifully crisp glossy dark butterfly stamped images. After that I brought out my masking fluid and my masking fluid paintbrush and painted the masking fluid over the open areas of the butterfly and I did this because I wanted to add colour to my card around my butterflies but I didn't want to get the colour on the inside of the butterflies. I wanted the butterflies to stay black and white but have lots of colour around them. So once I'd finished painting my masking fluid onto my butterflies, I set it aside to dry for a while. It does take a bit of time to dry masking fluid and you do want it to be really dry. And you know when it's dry cause it, it doesn't go completely clear, but it goes translucent and has a very rubbery appearance to it. If you try and paint over it or remove it before it's dry, you're gonna get into a real pickle and you might end up ripping your paper or just making a right old mess. So next I took some washi tape and ran it down either side of my butterflies to create a mask so that I could apply color around the butterflies but not over the rest of the card. I know you know what I mean, I'm just not explaining it very well. And then I took some Catherine Pula inks in warm springy colours and applied them using my mini smusher. I didn't want to use my normal regular size smusher for this because I thought I would probably make a mess and get it all over the card. And the mini smusher gives a subtly different look. The smushing is smaller as you might expect with a smaller smusher. If you want to know how to make and use a smusher then check out my smusher cards playlist. It's got lots of videos in there with lots of ideas and instructions. Once I'd put down my colours, I mopped them up a bit with some paper towel just to soften and lighten them slightly. And then I just finished off by adding a few extra smushes. 
Once that was dry, I splattered on some gold metallic paint. This is my Hybrid Prima Metallic Accents palette. It's got my favorite paints from the Originals Metallic Accents palette and the Pastels Metallic Accents palette. I just put them in the same one for convenience. Before I removed the masking fluid from my butterflies, I wanted to make sure they didn't have any wet paint on them still because I didn't want to accidentally smear that. So once that was all done, I then very carefully and gently just rubbed my finger over the masking fluid and peeled it back to reveal my three lovely white and black butterflies. To add a bit of extra texture and definition along the edge of my coloured panel, I just use my scoreboard to score two lines. I did trim the panel down a little bit because the panel was exactly five by seven inches in size and I decided I wanted to add it onto a five by seven card blank with a little bit of a border around it so I trimmed it down for that reason. And then I added my sentiment and I decided to turn this into a thank you card and stamped it in black and then heat embossed it again with clear embossing powder. And that's this card finished. I do hope you like the card and that maybe you'd like to try using some masking fluid to create something similar on your own cards. If you do that, do come along to my Facebook group because I would love to see what you do. It's a really lovely, warm, friendly group where everyone's very supportive. So, as I say, do come along and share photos of the cards that you make. They don't have to be based on any cards you've seen me make. They can be any cards at all. They don't have to be clean and simple either. Any cards at all. Right then, that's enough waffling from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.